Hi, Matt Scott, Witness Justice Investigation. I bring you a, um, a breaking news story from out of El Paso, Texas. Um, there are multiple reports coming in. We are trying to make sure we be as accurate as we can because in situations like this, sometimes the wrong information gets out. Um, but uh, there is still an active shooter or shooters at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas. Uh, multiple people, uh, as many as 18, were shot, and they're not sure on the number of deaths. One says 10 people have died, the other one says at least eight people have died. So this is still a developing uh, story. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you all for tuning in uh, to this broadcast. Uh, again, there's an active shooter situation going on inside of a Walmart in El Paso, Texas. Uh, it is in the area of Hawkins and Gateway East Boulevards. M many businesses within that area have been placed on lockdown, and police are asking that if you are trying to come to that area, do not come to that area right now. Uh, multiple uh, people have been taken to different hospitals. Uh, there is one person in custody, and there may be still an intimate threat at this point. There may be more shooters. Uh, they're not sure, but that's what uh, authorities are saying. Again, there's an active shooter situation at Walmart in El Paso, Texas. Multiple people have been shot inside of that Walmart. I don't know if it's uh, employees and customers or employees or just customers, but we do know that multiple people have been shot. This is still an active uh, situation, so police are urging the public not to come in the area of Hawking, Hawkins and Gateway East Boulevard. Before we go, that's one more piece of information we're going to pass on to you. In Shreveport, Louisiana, a one old baby was shot in the head this morning, shortly after 4 a.m. Police are saying it was a drive-by shooting. Someone was shooting at a home uh, in that area of um, what was the name of it? Um, Sunnybrook, Sunnybrook neighborhood. And a bullet went into the home and shot a one month old baby. The coroner has released the name of the baby. The baby name was Quinn Dean. Again, the baby, Queen Dean, I'm sorry, Queen Dean. She was uh, one month old and died from a bullet to the head. And police are still executing search warrants and arrest warrants at this time uh, to bring those to justice uh, to be held accountable for this. And, you know, I'm not going to say that the shootings in Shreveport are getting out of control because if I said that, that would be an understatement. And, uh, things have been out of control. When there's violence in the mind, there's going to be violence on the streets. Um, we can march until Jesus comes back. You can go to Walmart all day long and buy a poster board and a permanent marker and say, stop the violence, stop the killing. That's like giving a well a tic-tac. You're wasting time. It's not a goddamn thing that's going to happen. we got to do better. We have to learn a new way to approach what's going on in the city. History will always be your best teacher. History will always be your best teacher. And if you look back through history and you see how many times we've walked, how many times we've marched and, and hold rallies, held rallies and stuff, and you got to sing along and you're holding hands praying and it's getting worse and it's getting worse and it's getting worse. So that tells you right there that we need to approach this in a different way because the way that may have worked back then is not working today. So you can get out there today if you want to march up and down the streets of Shreveport. You're going to be super stupid. That's not going to stop it. When there's violence in the mind, there's going to be violence on the street. And you cannot continue to blame the police department. They can only do so much. For the most part, they only come after. And when you sit and you know who done this, and you do not call the police so that they can be arrested, it's, it's, it's the same to me as you pulling the, the damn trigger yourself. You hold these people back from being brought to justice. Somebody knows something. We don't have to ask you to tell. I mean, I think that should be common damn sense. A one-month-old a, a one baby, one-month-old, shot in the head, 4 a.m. in the morning, dead, if you know something.
you know you need to do the right damn thing. I don't need to come and talk to you and hold your hands and get you. Just call the police. A child is dead. If you, if you don't report, then you condone. If you don't report, then you condone. At least this week, maybe four or five shootings in Shreveport. Maybe four or five. It's getting worse. Holding hands together out there praying, it's not going to get it, people. Walking up and down the street with them goddamn signs, no justice, no peace, stop the killing. It's like giving away a tic-tac. Nothing's going to happen. You can go on Hearn Avenue and sit there with a sign 365 days a year. says, stop the killing, stop the killing. Think about it. Look at history. That's not going to get it. You need a new approach to what's going on in the city. I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana, born and raised in Shreveport, Louisiana. I love Shreveport, Louisiana. It's a wonderful place to live. But as I said earlier, we have some diabolical, deranged lunatics that needs to be captured and put in cages. Because that's what you do. When you cannot tame animals, you catch them and you put them in cages where you can try to tame them. Or if you can't, just keep them there until their time comes. We'll be no more on planet Earth. We have to bring those people to justice. So when you know something... You ought to say something. It's as simple as that. I offer my sincere condolences to the family uh, that lost the one-month-old baby today. My heart goes out to you. If there's anything that uh, I can do, you know who I am, the number, give me a call, and I promise you we will do it again. I offer you all my sincere condolences to uh, your loss this morning. Again, there is an active shooter situation in the uh, uh, Walmart at El Paso. Located near Hawkins and Gateway East Boulevard. Police are urging people not to come to that area at this particular time. Multiple injuries uh, have been reported. Uh, it may be at least 8 to 10 people dead. Uh, we have different numbers popping up. So right now we're just unsure. Uh, I see Miss Francis is uh, on here. She's an investigator with... Uh, Injustice Investigations. I think she been on the phone with someone at Walmart earlier. Uh, and she have a, a number? Do you, Miss Ferris, or did I get that wrong? What's I supposed to say that? And, okay, I'm waiting on Miss Ferris to uh, uh, respond. But there have been multiple injuries. Uh, there's at least one person is in custody. Okay, Miss Miss Ferris just says. She says, one shooter is in custody, and one is still on the loose. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Ferris. Uh, I greatly appreciate you. Okay, so we, 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 we know. Uh, oh, my God. There go Gina. Hi, uh, Gina. We meet again, huh, Gina? Ms. Ferris says that it may be uh, possible as many as five to ten people dead. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, it, it could be possible from five to ten people dead. They were all shot inside of the Walmart in El Paso, Texas, in the area of Hawkins and Gateway East Boulevard. And uh, possible five to ten people have been pronounced dead. This is still an active situation, as uh, Ms. Ferris just said. Uh, one is in custody. There still may be another one on the loose. So a lot of businesses and restaurants in that area, they are on lockdown. How are you today, my love? Gina, I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing great, gorgeous. Uh thank you for asking. I just saw this on the news. I'm glad you're talking about it so I can catch up. Yes, ma'am. Anything to make your day, Gina, I'm here to do it. And stuff. So anyway, uh, don't know really what bought this on in uh El Paso, Texas, but uh just thought we would uh give you a brief update on that and either I'll come back later when we get more details and give it to you or uh, Miss Ferris and Miss Ferris just made another comment she said it is still an active uh, shooter situation going on at the Walmart so if you're in that area of uh, Hawkins and Gateway East Boulevard police are asking that you do not come to that area if you're there now trying to get to some of the stores or into that shopping center go ahead and turn around and go back because you will not be allow in. There have been multiple injuries and Miss Farris says there could be as many as five to ten people that may have been uh, killed. One person is in custody and uh, one or others are still on 
to lose. Again, uh, we offer our sincere condolences to um, the parents of the one-month-old baby that was killed in Shreveport, Louisiana, uh, this morning. If there's anything that uh, injustice investigations can do uh, to help you during your going through, uh, give us a call, and then Ms. Ferris and I will be right there, hands down. Uh, you have our sincere prayers, and again, anything you need, give us a call, and I promise we will be there. Ms. Ferris, I thank you so much. Uh, I'll talk with you in a little while. Uh, Gina, always good to hear from you. Thank you.